Hey Superstars, it's your girl Malika, aka Miss Magic, back with another video. Alright, so today we are doing a Virgin Relaxer. I'm going to take you guys step by step. But first, if you are new here, welcome to my channel. Thank you for coming. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button for me. Give me a big thumbs up and hit that notification bell so you can be alerted when I do post another video. Alright guys, so like I said, I'm going to take you step by step on how to do a Virgin Relaxer. Um, okay, so this is my client. She is a preteen. I've been doing her hair since she was about six, seven years old. And I always, her mother has always said, her hair is so thick. She's so tender-headed, which she is. When I do used to do her hair when she was little, she would cry through the whole thing. And, um, basically, I would be as gentle as possible. I do have two videos up on her on how to detangle how to deal with tender-headed children she's in those videos and she works with me she's worked with me since, since she was a little girl however her mother has been all since she was little her mother's begged me to put a relaxer in or some type of texturizer i said no no we're gonna keep it natural i'll take care of it we're gonna keep it natural and that worked for a while but like I said, she's a busy preteen. She is into sports. She is has an active lifestyle. And the Afro Puff is just not puffing no more. She she want a little something different. She want a little bit more maintenance to her hair. She wants to start, you know, dealing with her own hair and wear it in, in a natural, I mean, a uh, relaxed state. Which is fine. It is what it is. You know, you, you, we move on. So we're going to go ahead and do this virgin relaxer for her. And so when we get started, first things first, we're going to base it. And I'm just using a, a basic oil grease that I'm using. Uh, I forgot what I'm using. Am I using the white blue magic? Yes. I'm using the coconut blue magic and I'm basing her scalp. And what you're going to do is you're going to just part through her sections. Make sure you get her hairline, the base of her neck, her ears. I am going to put um, ear protectors on. Everything I'm going to use is going to be in my shopping box below. So you'll be able to see that. Um, so yes, like I said, we're going to section it off into four sections. That's what I always do when I relax here. And uh, doing a virgin relaxer is very, very different from doing new growth. I know mostly, mostly on my page, if you are um, true to my page, you've seen me do relaxers i don't think i've ever done a virgin relaxer on my page so this will be the first one so i'm excited about that actually even though for a while i was totally against relaxing this um hair but guess what she can go when she gets older if she's done with a relaxer or she you know she can always big chop and go right back to her beautiful natural hair that's fine but right now we, we're doing something a little different all right guys so let's get straight into it now i've based her scalp and we're going to get right on into this virgin relaxer after basing i go ahead and put the ear protectors on i put these on for any chemical service i do whether it be relaxer or color and um I, like i said they'll be listed in the description box below so we're going to place our ear protectors on and we're going to get started on relaxing her hair i am using originals olive oil uh children's relaxer so i have mixed it and you uh if you're going to use this relaxer make sure you read the instructions i'd rather you go to a professional to use it but i'm like i said i am showing you guys how i do it and what i do so first things first as you see we are going to start on our ends and we're going to start all the way up maybe about two inches from the hair shaft do not apply the relaxer on the hair shaft first because we have to straighten the ends the uh hair shaft and the base of your hair your scalp will process uh three times faster than the actual hair so we save that for last when we're dealing with thick hair you just want to start from the back like i'm doing and once again You'll just take the relaxer all the way to the end. I have sped this up for the integrity of the video. Um, once again, if you are doing a virgin relaxer, and I don't really care if it's an adult or a child, a child or an adult, always do use a kitty perm. And when I say kitty perm, I mean a no lie relaxer when you're starting off. 
And, and first of all, if you're doing it at home, you always want to do a no relax, no light relaxer. But I, I do this at the shop when I do a virgin. So um, no lie is basically basically one of your little box perms you buy from the beauty supply store. Like I said, I'm using Originals Olive Oil. I like that because um, hair stays super healthy after you use it, deep condition, um, which is a must. So as you see all over her hair, I am just doing her ends all the way up to two inches before you get to her scalp. And we're going to do this all over her head, as you see. As you are placing the relaxer in, if you can notice, I am smoothing. So I'm using my comb, but I am smoothing with my hands. And as you see, I'll just take one of my hands and smooth, and then take the other hand and smooth back and forth. So now to the front, same thing all over. And when you're doing a virgin relaxer with your uh, kitty perm, you will need two to three boxes depending on the lift and thickness of her hair. I am using two and a half, no, yeah, two boxes of her. So that made it through. Um, if her hair was a little longer, I would have definitely used three boxes because her hair is very thick for C hair. So as you see, I'm putting it in with the comb on top and then I'll put a little on the bottom and then I'll smooth it down with my hands. You want to work quickly, even though I am speeding up this video, I am working very quickly because even though this is a, a kitty relaxer, no lie perm, you want to still, no lie relaxer, don't call it a perm, it's a relaxer. You want to smooth and you want to work quickly because it is chemicals. Look at this child. She's not working with me. I told her to hold her head up. Keep her head up. You want to tell your client, fight me. Keep your head up. If I pull your hair, don't pull your hair down. Just fight me and keep your head up. But, you know, she's a child. So, all right, guys. So, I have put it all over. And now what I'm doing is going through it again. And I'm smoothing. And when, when I say smoothing, like I said, I'm taking my hands and I'm just taking my hands and smoothing the hair down to uh, help the relaxer to stretch. As you see, I still have not applied to her scalp because I want to smooth and get this her ends straight before we get to that scalp. And the reason why I'm not on the scalp yet is because, like I said, it um, processes very quickly on the scalp because that's where the heat is on your head and heat mixing with the relaxer makes it process faster so once I get through smoothing her whole head that is when I will go back in and actually apply it to her scalp as you will see in just a few minutes but we're smoothing we're smoothing we're smoothing and her as you see the relaxer is starting to break down her hair it's starting to get straight. Okay, so we have done that. Now we are ready to go ahead and do her scalp. So that is what I'm doing. I'm doing the base of her neck. I'm doing all around the sides. And I am applying it. And as I'm applying to her scalp, now I will start breaking it down with my comb and my fingers. And I will start smoothing all over. And guys, let's be clear. When I say scalp, I do not mean put the relaxer directly on her scalp. You are going to place the relaxer as close to the scalp line as possible, but not directly on the scalp. I'm sorry, I have to be clear about that. Do not place it directly on the scalp. And when you get to the hairline, same thing. Do not place it on her forehead, but just on the hairline right above her forehead. And I want to remind you, this is one of my tender-headed beauties has been since she was a little girl. So when you see her wincing and jumping and looking crazy, it's because she's tender-headed. This relaxer does not burn. 
it is not supposed to burn the scalp most it's going to do is itch a little bit and that won't be to the end however if your client is complaining or your child is complaining or whoever your relaxer about any type of burning period rinse it directly out it is not worth it uh do not play around with relaxer in any capacity if someone says it is burning rinse it out they may have a sore in their head it may be doing a little chemical reaction that is not healthy if somebody says this is burning this is burning bad rinse it out immediately all right so once we have applied it to her scalp now we are ready for the smoothing process and what you're going to do is go back in and you'll part it and then you'll smooth it if you've mixed any spots on the relaxer you'll be able to see that now so you're going to take your hand mostly you can use the part of your comb when i when you see me using this comb and i'm smoothing i'm not really combing through her hair i'm just smoothing so you don't want to like scrape the comb on her scalp at all you just want to do it on the top surface so what I do is like I'll straighten it down a little bit with the comb and then I'm going to smooth it with my hands and since her relaxer has not broken down completely on her scalp that's why she is wincing uh, keep asking I have kept asking her do you feel any burn do you feel any itching she said no 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 I'm fine it just hurts which means she's tender headed so um I am just smoothing right now. We're going to go all through her scalp and we're going to smooth with our hands and we're going to smooth with the comb to make sure that her hairline is, uh, and the uh, hair just beneath her scalp is be, uh, getting straight. Once I've gone through her head smoothing once, we're going to go back through it one more time and smooth well, smooth it again. Make sure you are working consistently and quickly. Once you have worked the relaxer through twice, we are ready. Her hair is fully relaxed and we are going to see the results in five, four, three, two, one. Boom, she is relaxed. Her hair is straight and she, we are ready to blow dry and curl. So here we go. Quick mention also, just because her hair is relaxed, it might make it a little more easier and manageable for her but you still have to put in the work when you are dealing with our 
hair still needs to be deep conditioned so i did relent rinse and relaxer watch it with neutralizing shampoo always neutralize shampoo after a relaxer guys and always deep condition so she has been washed she has been neutralized deep conditioned and now we are going to uh, put a little moisture in her hair and then I'm going to blow dry and curl it But just because you have a relaxer those steps cannot be denied also with the relaxer you have to uh, Make sure that you are tying your hair up every night just like with natural hair And you also have to make sure that you are not using tight rubber bands same like with natural hair Don't use those rubber bands I always use the little uh, hair binder things i can't even think of what it's called now but you guys know what i'm talking about and um just the maintenance is still the same it's still high maintenance if you want your hair to grow and you want your hair to be healthy uh ends need to be trimmed every six to eight weeks i will be cutting her ends in a minute um i haven't cut i haven't cl trimmed her ends in probably about a year because she had been wearing braids All right, so we are blow dried and now we're gonna get these ends clipped nice and even um, Like I said, she's fresh out of braid. So it is a little choppy, but that's okay We're gonna take care of that We're gonna get these ends trimmed and then we're gonna go straight into giving her a curl
All right, guys, are y'all ready for that healthy hair shake? Well, it doesn't matter because there you go. You're going to get it anyway. All right, so this is our final research result. She is healthy. She is shakable. And she's relaxed. All right, guys, I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for me. Give me a big thumbs up. And hit that notification bell so you can be alerted when I do post another video. I hope to see you guys in past, present, and future videos. See you soon. Love you guys. Bye.